In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can use a MATLAB Live for way you have calculations in MATLAB. So what I'll do is I'll visit the link which is appearing on the screen there. So I'll just uh, visit that link in my web browser there, uh, this one here. And you will see this page here and you'll be asked to sign in. So I can go on and sign in. So when you click on the sign in page, you just enter in your email, and then go on and enter, enter your password. If you have not created an account yet, just go and click create an account, then you then go on and enter, sign in. So I'll go on and sign in. After signing in, we see this page here, and then you go where it says uh, open MATLAB online. So I can click there, my MATLAB online, and then it will open. So it will open a page like this one. So what we have to do is you look at the top left hand corner. Here we see where it says a new live script. So you create a new live script here. So I click on there. And it uh, opens uh, uh, this pens here. I can just hide this one so that I have more space. So what we can now do is uh, when you have a gray highlighted part like this one, it's indicating that you are entering a code. But uh, you don't start by just entering a code. You start by entering the topic of what you will be discussing. So in this case, I am at the live editor here. So I'll go where it says text. So for the text, then I'll go where it says uh, title here. So for example, I, I can just illustrate by talking about uh, the quadratic equation. So I can go on and type my title, quadratic equation. So that's the topic that I'll be talking about. And then I press the return key there. And then I can just uh, give a brief uh, description of what I'll be talking about. So I type in, we will be solving equation of the form. And then live scripts enables us to even enter mathematical equations. So to enter an equation, what you do is go, it says insert here. So I can click insert, I can type in equation here. And for typing in equations, I usually use a, a LaTeX equation. So I can click on LaTeX equation. So for a quadratic equation, we know that it is of the form ax to the power 2 ax squared then plus bx plus c is equals to 0. And this is the form of a LaTeX equation. So I've just typed it and it is giving a preview here. If you don't know how to type uh, equations in LaTeX, you can click here where it says help and it gives you the commands. So I can just click on open because it's opening in another tab and here it will give you examples of how you can uh, enter your math equations, uh, the symbols and the commands, how you enter them. So if you are not sure, just uh, check the help section to help you with uh, how you enter the equation. So I can just go back to my screen here. I have my equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. I click on OK. So the equation is now coming out. So in my demonstration, I will now go on to specify what I will do. So I will say that I'm going to type that we create our symbolic variables. So I type that statement. So for the symbolic variables, I will go back to the live editor here. I press the return key. And what you want to enter now is a MATLAB code. Because here I had, clicked, I had clicked on text, that's why you are having text. So for code, and you see the gray highlight appears. So we are now creating symbolic variables using a MATLAB code. And the code uh, that we use is SYMS symbols. And with the symbols that you want, we want an A, a B, a C, and then an X. So I will then go on and press the return key. So I have created my symbols. Then I will go on to talk about the next stage that I want to talk about. So I can click on text here and I can click on a heading to say now I can solve an equation. So solving solving equations then i press the return key 
So I am now solving the quadratic equation of this form in MATLAB. What I would do is I'm now going back to code. So indicating now I'm typing a MATLAB code here. So that solution I will call it S and equals to and then solve. Open parenthesis and then we are solving the equation A and then times x to the power 2 plus b times x plus c. If you notice when I'm entering now the code, I am putting the multiplication here because when you are solving using the code, put the multiplication. But when I was just writing the equation in LaTeX, it's just write it as it is without a multiplication sign. So I would then go on and say C, then equals to or equal to type in a double equal sign, then equal to zero. Then specify that we are solving for X. And then I come out of the parenthesis there. And then I can just uh, press the return key. So what I can do at this stage is I can run this section so that we get the solution. So I'll go here for it says run section. Then I click on here. And it will give us the solution here. It has two solutions minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a or minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So what live script does is it combines code results and formatted text and mathematical equations like this. So that's the advantage of it. So you'll be having your, your text, your formatted equations, and you'll be having the results appearing there on the right. So I can go on and uh, give another example. So I can click on text here just to specify what I am now doing next. And then I can say another example. So example of the example. So now for the example, I want to solve both this one was a general form of a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Suppose now I, I now want to show an example of solving an equation with the specified values for a, b, and c. So I can just go to insert like what I did before and then I can insert the equation that I want to solve in this case is just x squared and then plus 3x plus 1 is equals to 0. I click on OK. So my example is now on solving this equation x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals to 0. Then I'll go on and press the return key. So what I'm saying is I want to solve this equation using MATLAB code. And then I go to live editor and then I go to code. And the code that you are using is a code which is similar to this one, but we are just inputting now the values of the A, the B, and the C. So I will call my solution, I'll call it S1 is equals to. Then solve, open parenthesis, and then we are solving X squared plus 3 times x then plus 1 then put double equal sign equals to 0 specify that we are solving for x go outside the parenthesis there and then I can go on and run the section so that it solves uh, that equation there so it gives us the result there is minus root 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2 the second uh, root is root 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2. So that's how we can use uh, the live script there. It's giving us the MATLAB code and the result there. And uh, when you have uh, done your editing, putting the code, the results, and the formatted text, what you can do is you can go on and save the live script. So I can just click on save the live script. And it asks me to give a name here. So I will just uh, go on and uh, call it uh, equations. So equations, and it's indicating it's saving it in the MATLAB drive. So I'll go on and save.
So the live script has now been saved here. So at this stage, what you can do is you can share the live script or the other option is to export this live script as a PDF or HTML. So what I can do is you can go to again save here. We have already saved, but you can now export it to PDF or Word or HTML. In this case, let me just put it HTML and it uh, gives you an option saying export. And it will open in another tab. So it opens here and it's giving here my topic, what I was talking about, the symbolic variables, then the equation, and it gives the solution. Then the example number two, it gives a solution here. So that's how we can do it. So you can share now this HTML or PDF file. So you can do it with uh, any form of calculations that can be done in MATLAB.